that happens in real estate. So agents do not just run and jump. Everybody is not an ideal client. Everybody is not a good fit. Everybody does not understand. Hey guys, it's Natasha with Soul by Nat. Okay, so I stopped out, got a pamphlet, two and three story townhomes. I'll double check the MLS. We're not family. So in life, celebrate the small things. It takes some time to celebrate yourself. Do you see that? Look at the windows. We're in Atlanta, Georgia. Hey, it's Natasha Brazil with soulbynet.com, associate broker, home selling and new construction specialist. And this is gonna be a quick video, but this is a lesson for agents. So today I actually have a closing, it's closing day. Uh, but this morning I had my physical. Guys, get to the doctor, get your physicals, your mammograms, your pap, your, your prostates, all of that stuff, right? So after that, they sent me to get blood work. So I went and get my blood work. And she sees my realtor pin. If you like my realtor pin, check my Amazon store. Please support your girl and you can grab one. I also have it in gold. But, you know, people see this, they just start talking real estate, which is a great thing where they just start talking because had I not had on my pin or my name tag or anything. So that is a good prospecting marketing piece. But she starts talking, she's sharing the story when she starts asking about her son. Okay, so let me tell you this. The purpose of her sharing, she was sharing like how she moves by faith and stuff. So I got those nuggets. I'm like, okay, they, I love when people share stuff like that. But there was also something that I picked up on and I was like, wow, wow, wow. So she was basically saying that she was years ago going through the NACA program. She was like, she don't speak bad about the program, but she was like, it was not for her because she was going through all the hoops and all this time and all this. She was going through all of that, right? And she said she had an agent. The agent was great. Somebody referred her to the agent. Anytime she wanted to see a property, the agent would show her the property. The agent was great. But she was like, this one day, she waiting to hear that her file went to underwriting and NACA came back again and was like, your file, your documents are incomplete. It's not going to underwrite. And she said, God spoke to her and told her, go get your house. So she had already been looking at houses as well. She went to a new construction community that same day and put a contract down. She said they asked her if she had an agent and she was like, yeah, you know, it's the agent. I've been dealing with this agent when I've been going through NACA. So I don't know if the agent was a NACA agent or, but either way, she said the onsite person was like, ah, oh, they have enough agents, they don't need it. So she went ahead and signed this contract without putting her agent's name on it. What? She said she did feel bad about it. She did feel bad because a couple weeks later, her agent's calling her like, hey, I haven't heard from you. Like, please tell me you didn't put your name on the house. So she was like, yeah, I know I really disappointed him. I love all the great stuff that she shared, the God speaking to her, I get all that. But on the other side, I'm like that poor agent. Like all these running, jumping through hoops, thinking at the end of the row, he's helping this lady to get into a house and get a commission. And he got poo-pooed on, left out, which is a common thing that happens in real estate. So agents do not just run and jump Everybody is not an ideal client. Everybody is not a good fit. Everybody does not understand. Buy a brokerage agreement, have a consultation with them, explain, remind them. Do all those things to protect you because time is something that you do not get back. And the time that he spent working with her to come up with nothing, he could have been putting that into another client. Granted, I think every agent has gone through this. And I just say with that, while you're out, with clients, I take pictures, video, always be marketing, getting something from that time that you're out working with people that, God forbid, even if it don't work out, you got something from it. You learned something, you explored some new areas, you posted on social media and probably somebody else saw you and now you got another client from there. So it happens guys, it happens, but you know, just make it worthwhile. And I pray that that agent, I know it hurt because I, I know what that burn feels like. He rebounded from it and God rewarded him sevenfold. 
Um, but yeah, take those, take all those gems that I shared in there. Uh, agents, it happens. So this time, I normally hear it from the agent side of it. So this time I'm hearing it from a buyer side, basically saying, yeah, I, I didn't put his name down and I did feel bad about it. But I'm waiting for her to tell me, yeah, I went ahead and I shot him some money. I gave him something. No, I didn't hear any of that. I didn't hear any of that. <sighs> yeah. All right, guys, I'm signing out here. All right, have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. I'll probably include some pictures of my final walkthrough and closing. I'm so happy for my client. All right, see you guys. One thing I forgot to mention, like you can do everything that you're supposed to do, consultation, buy a broker agreement, remind them. But if somebody wants to flake on you, um, it can happen. It can still happen. Um, that's just because that's in their character and they operate on low vibration. So there's nothing that you can do about that. There may be some signs that you can pick up on early enough to say, mm, I don't know that this person is a solid or that I should be giving as much time to them. But at the end of the day, if it happens, learn the lessons and do better next time or pick up on those things earlier. But don't beat yourself up. Give yourself a defined period to be mad. I'll warn against um, responding or engaging. Yeah, I have another video that I recorded a while ago about that. Um, essentially, I have held things in time, time and time again. And this one time I was like, you know what? Uh -uh, I ain't holding it in no more. And it didn't go so well. So yeah, one day I'll post that video, but wanted to add that nugget. All right. Have a positive, peaceful and productive day.